As the sun sets at Mowbray Racecourse, the tension in the air is palpable. You were home straight, they were 12 metres left to go. Ben Yol is Australia's leading harness trainer. He has 65 out of the 94 runners at tonight's meet. He's not happy about us being here, and stewards have made an unusual move to allow horses to enter the track via a car park to elude the camera. In harness racing, you have to drive to win. But the ABC has spoken to dozens of industry insiders who claim some drivers from the Yole stable are instructed to race as a team to fix the outcome. Kent Rattray is an industry veteran. If I was in the school ground, I'd be calling it cheating, uh, not playing within the rules. A race at the Burnie Cup in January had participants up in arms. The final race was filled entirely with horses from the old stable. And away they go. Written in Silk goes forward. Be good Benny the inside. The outside chance, written in Silk, eased to the front and ran unchecked to victory. You have a designated person you think can win and you make sure he wins. The drivers involved declined to be interviewed. Bets were made on Written in Silk in the minutes before the race, plunging its odds from $26 to 11. The ABC understands cash bets placed at Burnie raised flags with a prominent on-course bookmaker, who says they suggest prior knowledge of the race outcome. The ABC is not suggesting that Ben Yole or any of his drivers placed bets on this race or any other race. Launceston Pacing Club's chairman pleaded with the Office of Racing Integrity to investigate. I haven't had any correspondence or, or communication to say that that has been investigated. The Office of Racing Integrity wouldn't comment on specific races, but says rules that prohibit driver collusion are actively regulated. A former driver for Yol Racing has confirmed they were asked to team drive to advantage their stable. They've asked for their identity to be concealed. It meant whether we would run the gate or attack the leaders, or whether we would just go to the fence and stay out of it and just be roadblocks. These concerns were raised with stewards, but the driver says nothing was done. A former stable hand has also come forward, saying they too witnessed drivers being instructed to team drive. Stay back in the field and hold the other horses in, or not let the other horses out. Integrity expert Sal Perna says in general, team driving is difficult to prove. But sometimes you can look at that and think, well, it's not a breach of a rule, but there's something suspicious about it. Punters bet $130 million on Tasmanian harness racing just last year. Many of the races happen late at night with few spectators and little oversight. It makes it challenging to find links between unusual race results and betting activity, even when the outcomes appear suspicious. Whether the stewards just give up trying, I don't know, but I just, I just feel that um, they've been let do what they want to do. It. Janet Ainsco lives next door to the Yole stable in Tasmania's north. She says a Yole driver approached her last year. And they told me that they were given instructions on how to drive the horse and what horse they had to let through which determined the outcome of a race. She says she reported it to the Office of Integrity, but it went no further. The Integrity Office has told the ABC the driver declined to make a formal report. The driver disputes this. Trainer Ben Yole declined to be interviewed or to answer written questions from the ABC, but a letter from his lawyer emphasised the rigorous scrutiny and regulations to which the Yole stable are subjected to, and has described the allegations as patently false. Jessica Moran, ABC News, Launceston.